interested. This was, uh, these questions are taken from an open letter from the Supreme Leader of Iran, um, responding to the attacks that happened in Paris two weeks ago, or just over two weeks ago. And in it, it was directed straight to the youth in Europe and in the West, in North America, to gauge your reactions. Yeah. Have you directly read the Quran of the Muslims? No, but um, I have a Muslim friend and he has, and he's taught me a lot more about it than I think the media has. So. And what about you, Charlie? Um, I've like learnt, like had like snippets of the Quran like in school from like religious education and stuff. And I don't think it really like portrayed the idea that they like promote violence and stuff. I think it's the way that individuals take it, like they use it as an excuse, but I don't necessarily think that's down to the it's religion. violent people at the end of the day, isn't it? And then they like hide behind the religion. Yeah. No, I haven't directly read it, but we have studied some of the teachings and I'm aware of some of the content from when I was at school. However, we didn't put it entirely into context and read an entire section. Um, have you directly read the Quran of the Muslims? No. 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 Maybe no. like parts of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of yeah, 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 that, not actually directly read it. Have you studied the teachings of Prophet Prophet of Islam and his humane ethical doctrines? Not really myself, I've read a few things, but I no, I haven't studied them at all, so Give an opinion on that. No, I haven't directly studied the teachings. We obviously learnt some key points, but uh, within the time constraints that we had, we were not able to um, view the entire range of views and discuss the ones that we agree and disagree with. No. 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 That's no. literally it. That is it. How much of uh, Islam did you study in Ari? Have you ever asked yourself how and on the basis of which values has Islam established the greatest scientific and intellectual civilization of the world and raised the most distinguished scientists and intellectuals throughout several centuries? That's a slightly more subjective question than the others. Um, I think some would disagree of it being uh, the greatest scientific and intellectual civilization. Some would agree. Um, there have uh, there've obviously been key uh, learnings, realizations, um, scientific and mathematical people throughout all walks of life and civilizations. However, uh, I don't doubt that some uh, of the in things that are important to everyday mathematics, science, technology have stemmed from uh, followers of Islam. Um, therefore, I haven't directly asked myself what their religion is. I don't really see the need to, for the most part, unless yes. it has negatively affected their work or how their work has been used. I didn't know that. Um, you never heard of that before? No, but they've got like... So for example, think of algebra. Yeah, I didn't know that. Algebra is an Arabic word. Okay. Uh, I've learned from a friend that um, but I a lot in the Quran is to do with science, like the beginning of the world it is, has relevance to like evolution and everything, but I don't know that much in the book. Have you ever received the message of Islam from any sources other than the media? Only my friend. Again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of at school. In your religious studies? Yeah, yeah but no one really pay, they pays attention as much as they said, should. Well, I regret now looking back on the school and not paying attention. I paid a lot of attention. I really I don't know. I didn't know how, how did, say, what your friend talked to you about Islam compare to what you hear and what you read in the media? Oh, so different. Yeah? yeah? I don't know, it's just, the media just twists things, don't they? And they're very aimed against Muslims at the moment. And I don't know. But so I think not. with any religion, you can like pick up, so it's not about the religion. Like, mm. there's a lot of Christian people have done really like bad things. Mm. It's not necessarily about the religion, people just use it as an exclusive thing. 
Wow. Because he's talking about uh, Islamic scholars, scientists from, I guess, from centuries ago. So, for example, algebra. Ah. Uh, no, I so, know. And a lot of mathematics is uh, attributed to Arab scientists. Oh. So you never really learned anything like that. You they just tell you what it is yeah. and they tell you the origin. Just, or they just, like, when you learn about Islam, it's literally just... This is their belief. Yeah, and mm. this is what they follow. Yeah, this is, this is, this is who they believe. Yeah, that's yeah. about it. That's what you do. And their symbol. Oh, and the symbol. Yeah. <laughs>